Hi, I'm Diana Helander from Adobe, and today I have the HTC Desire, a new smartphone running Adobe Flash Player 10.1. Today we're going to look at some really incredible Flash content running on this device. We're going to go to the CBS website, and I'm going to take a look at video here. I can double tap on it to bring it up to full screen. And you'll notice that instead of an empty box, like I would get on a device that doesn't support Flash, I get all the interactivity of the video that I would normally get on the desktop. So I can pause it, I can share it with friends even. I can do anything that I would normally on the desktop. I just happen to be browsing this on a mobile device. Let's take a look at a new site like Time Magazine. Uh, Time has embedded video on their site as well as traditional news feeds that you would expect to uh, see on any news website. I can share it by emailing it or share it with my social networking. And I can also interact with that video content by tapping on the screen and pausing it. Next, I'm going to go to a gaming site, Mochi Games, and I'm going to play a little vampire zombie game. I can tap the screen, bring it up to full screen. I may want to actually play this in landscape, so I'm going to turn it, get the full benefit of that rich screen. And I can shoot at and knock down all those zombies and hopefully win. But the great thing about this is that it really takes advantage of the opportunity to play all that great Flash gaming content that's online right now from my phone. So that was just a few illustrations of some great content that's available online. If you'd like to see more, please visit m.flash.com. And if you're a developer and would like to learn how to optimize your content for delivery to mobile devices using Adobe Flash Player 10.1, please visit the Adobe Developer Connection. Thanks.